Okay, so as you can see ahead, that is the General Motors of Canada headquarters. Now, I originally had intentions to actually walk around, but I don't know if you can tell just from looking, but there is a bit of traffic, so I figured I'd just err on this side of caution and just stay here and get this video done. It's probably very obvious why I'm doing this, and that's because General Motors has announced last year, or maybe it was actually two years ago, that they were going to be closing five plants between Oshawa and the United States. Now, why are they doing this? Well, according to them, global restructuring. But as some have pointed out, that's kind of funny that they're doing that because when you look at the situation in Mexico, they're apparently not closing any of the plants there. So people are saying, well, okay, how come you're closing the plants in the States and Canada, the biggest market, and yet you're not closing in Mexico? So as you can tell, people are very, very unhappy about it. They're really anxious, they're upset, and people are worried about the jobs that are going to be lost. But still happening at least particularly for Oshawa it was supposed to close I think mid 2019 but they extended it to December 2019 I'm 100% sure as for the manufacturing plant I believe it opened doors originally in 1907 or 1908 so that's like a good 111 years ago so with that you can just imagine why people are so upset because for over a century it's been so important to them and people feel really really betrayed now for General Motors they're saying that they want, really want to move forward and that part of the reason is also for electrification but even then it begs the question why not just retool the plants would it be that expensive well yeah it would be expensive but they mentioned that they don't have any more products allocated for this location so once it closes, that's it. As for this particular center, I have no idea when they open doors or when it's supposed to close. I heard some word that it was supposed to close sometime this year, naturally. I also heard another rumor that it's apparently already closed. Although, I highly don't think so, because I mean, if it were, it'd probably be like really fenced up by now, which it isn't. So, what do I personally think with the Soul General Motors thing? Well, it's unfortunate. I have nothing to do with General Motors, never worked for them. Or anything like that I do like the Cadillac brand but honestly at the end of the day as a setting as it is uh, there's no saving General Motors at least for Oshawa and those American cities the only thing that you can really do is just uh, I don't know I guess support another brand or even better what I honestly think is that Canada should just come up with its own automotive brand because in case nobody doesn't know Canada makes nothing for themselves Every single thing that is here, whether it be from Acura to a lot of North Star Z, you get the idea? It's all foreign manufacturers, nothing for themselves. Why isn't Canada bothered? I have no idea, but I really think that they should. Especially in a situation like this, that if we had our own brand, we'd have more control over what leaves the country and what stays in the country. And that's also why people are complaining that, okay, if they're moving all these jobs abroad, like say Mexico for cheaper labor, that it does not make sense because if you give all the jobs to Mexico and these other places then how are people supposed to have the money in their biggest market American Canada to actually purchase products because the more jobs you give to them for their lower wages then that leaves you with less jobs for Canada states to actually buy the products for the electric vehicles they currently have a Chevrolet Bolt EV I know there was another one called the Spark EV, I think that was discontinued. And they recently announced discontinuing the Chevrolet Volt, which was some, I don't know if I describe it as like a hatchback or sedan or what, somewhere in between, maybe even a crossover. Apparently they also build the trucks here. So, I don't know what's going on with this area. There was something else I was going to say, but I can't quite touch on it. Okay, so I guess that's all I pretty much have to at this point can't really think of anything else just hearing a lot of birds chirping or whatever if you look behind me the Glofton wildlife area so it's pretty interesting that they put headquarters in a wildlife area it makes it kind of scenic if they ever wanted to step out and lots of fresh air now I guess I'm out did you like this video well the subject certainly isn't pretty but what about the scenery as I already mentioned in the video, we should not be bothered with trying to save General Motors Company Canada. 
Instead, I believe that Canada needs to create its own Canadian-born automotive industry, an all-electric one too, akin to that of Elon Musk of America and Mate Rimac of Croatia. Now comment, rate, like, subscribe, share, me about information, shout out for the links to the video description, and visit my Twitter page my latest tweets. And do not forget to also participate in the poll located at the top right corner inside the eye circle. I am out now.